welcome to block two. My name is Kristen Deal and I am your child's teacher for either music production one or music production two, both of them occurring at the same time here in the vocal room. Uh, we have a lovely, lovely lab that is set up for the students to use with brand new computers. Uh, we have some great desktop um, Mac computers as well as some laptops that they can take home and use, which is extremely helpful in our current environment. The, the kids were very excited to find those on the first day of school. Those laptops have GarageBand, just like their student laptop from school, and Logic Pro, which is a big improvement upon GarageBand, and one of the main reasons why the kids sign up to take the class, I think. So we will be working on how to use GarageBand and Logic Pro just like the professionals do to create a lot of music. Your student will be spending quite a bit of time being very creative in this class. Um, our class is based in Schoology, of course, and I will be taking you through a little video demonstration here in a bit to show you just some of the things that we have posted there so that you can access them. I am always available via Schoology message or email if you have any questions or concerns, so don't be afraid to uh, send a message my way if you need a little clarification on something. Typically when the students come in the room right now, when they are physically at the high school building, we will actually go outside for a mask break and do a little listening time. Each student takes an opportunity to bring in a song that they really enjoy and play it for the other students and we have a pretty nice chat about it. Um, they have picked some really excellent selections thus far that um, span a wide range of very good skills on the part of the musicians to um, parodies, shall we say, of their skills. It's a lot of fun to have a chat with all of the kids about how the music is constructed and what they're looking to mean and what the techniques are involved in getting a really great mix, which is the goal, again, of their creative projects in this class. Um, whether students are on-site or off-site, they then will proceed to Schoology and they complete their daily attendance form, as you see listed here, and then when it comes to music production one, I have their assignments usually posted on the side. So all they have to do is click on it. They can look at the calendar and see what is due just simply by clicking on it and getting details. So uh, for instance, the MIDI demo song, they can see that this is uh, when you are finished instructions and a rubric for exactly what is to be included in the project, which I talk about when they are on site in the building so that we can uh, ask questions and look at examples and, and different things of that nature. They also know that they can check out every project's folder and see the instructions and some other supplementary materials to help them compile the project. As far as production two, they have a folder for the week so that they can kind of pace their work depending on how much creative time they're putting into, again, bigger mixes since they are level two. I do have the same dates set up for them that I do for production one, and they can click on the calendar and see what the plan is. But like I said, I like to give them the week and a little more flexibility since they are doing bigger production mixes that might require a little extra creative time, and they might want to take care of some of the smaller assignments like lessons or reading earlier on so that they can really invest a lot of time in the other assignment later. And they are given a wide amount of time to work on things. I am always available for consultation via Schoology message if they're at home or in the room. We can chat about just about anything and experiment with things for their projects. And when they are finished, I try to give them the best instructions that I can to send them on their way for the next day that they are going to be working either at home or for when they come back to class with me. 